Once Alive, Frankenstein at 200, runs at the Morgan Library and Museum from October the 12th, 2018 to 27th of January, 2019. This exhibition marks the 200th anniversary of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. The Morgan is joining with the New York Public Library to show the origins and impact of this novel, a classic of world literature and a masterpiece of horror. Frankenstein is considered the first science fiction novel. Frankenstein's story is so adaptable, it's so capable of interpretation. You can do it in so many different ways. You can make high literature, you can make popular culture. People have parodied it, they've abridged it, they've imitated it. Practically any medium, Frankenstein has been successful. I think of the plot as having a sort of narrative twin engine, and one of those is the idea of making a creature from dead bodies, and the other is the relationship between Victor and the creature. And I think with those engines, you can make any number of stories in any number of media. The we're embodied creatures who don't want to die. We'll make that a compelling story. People have remade Frankenstein as a gay icon, a feminist icon. There's no end to its versatility. The story appeals to people interested in Gothic literature, a tale of terror, what it's like to be an outsider. One of the eminently compelling elements of both the narrative is the way you feel bad for the creature and occasionally the way you feel bad for Victor. The creature is the victim par excellence. Mary Shelley was a very young woman when she started working on Frankenstein. She was 18 years old when she began to write this book. Yet the novel has outlasted many many others. The 200th anniversary was a good time to take the measure of the myriad ways in which people have interpreted the novel and remade it. And 200 years doesn't seem actually like all that long when you've got something as productive and inspiring as this novel is. I think it's going to go on.